As humans, we rely on other organisms in this world. We have a responsibility to protect the health of this world, this biosphere. Biodiversity is a sign of an ecosystem's health, and so the extinction rate is currently a threat to the world's health, as well as our own. One of the world's cutest animals, the Chinese golden snub-nosed monkey, is one of these animals at risk for extinction. The Chinese golden snub-nosed monkey can be found only in China and Vietnam. There are actually four different types of snub-nosed monkeys, each one, of course, more adorable than the next. These make up the Rhinopithecus genus. These snub-nosed monkeys live in both low elevations, like tropical moon forests, and in the mountains. And, for all you lichenologists out there, their main source of food is the lichen. But you'll never find one just by itself. They are super group oriented. If you took a trip to the forest of China right now, you'd probably see like 250 or more all hanging out together. Unfortunately, this flagship animal is endangered and perhaps in the future, there will be no more of these snub-nosed monkeys. The golden snub-nosed monkey is endangered for several varying reasons. The most significant threat to their continued survival is the clear cutting of forest in Myanmar and China. Imagine, their ecosystems are being destroyed and fragmented through deforestation. It's a huge threat to the survival of these cute little monkeys. They can't even live in their homes anymore. Adequate habitats for them to live in are not only declining and becoming ever more limited, but according to case studies, the places that they do live are becoming increasingly unsuitable. For example, humans are starting to colonize and farm near their habitats, which makes it so that they are surrounded by, well, us. As humans participate in bamboo felling and timber harvesting, we are literally destroying their homes. How would you feel if a snub-nosed monkey came and destroyed your home? Even sadder, some of these precious little monkeys are being killed and sold for their parts and meat. Is there no mercy? Current conservation efforts have had positive effects, but will it be enough? It is estimated that only 21% of their natural range is located on protected land. The remaining 79%, the majority of which is in Myanmar, remains unprotected. 95 square kilometers of forest have been cut down in this region over the course of the last 15 years. The monkeys prefer primary forest growth as their main source of food and habitation. When analyzing preferred habitat, scientific study has shown that golden snub-nosed monkeys avoid grassland habitats if at all possible. So cutting down trees is a death sentence to these animals. Several conservation strategies have been implemented in China, some having a positive effect. One of the most effective is making the golden snub-nosed monkey a flagship species in China for ecotourism, showing the world how cute they are and bringing their plight to the forefront of the public's mind. But there are problems. Most of the monkey's habitat lies in Myanmar, where there is little help from the government towards preservation. As most of the danger to the species is based in Myanmar, effective conservation strategies would have to include the protection of at least some of the monkey's native rangeland in that country, in conjunction with economically sustainable reduction of forest clear cutting in Myanmar. Some variety of sustainable logging would have to be implemented in order to prevent the wholesale destruction of Myanmar forest habitats. Conservation of Chinese snub-nosed monkeys is a complex topic. Their future is unclear. Unfortunately, they are not the only species facing extinction. The recent rate of extinction is alarming. I would be sad if there are no more of these cute Chinese snub-nosed monkeys. But even more worrisome is the effect on the world we live in that their loss along with the loss of other species would bring. We rely on a healthy ecosystem. Perhaps it is hard to know what you can do to help Chinese golden snub-nosed monkeys or other endangered species. But we can't have any excuse let us ignore this responsibility that we jointly hold. Perhaps it is hard to know what you can do to help the Chinese golden snub-nosed monkey or other endangered species. But there is no excuse to ignore this responsibility that we all jointly hold. We must do our part to conserve this world. This will help the cute animals as well as help ourselves.